welcome to Let's Fly VFR. All in X Plane 11. Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. Zulu weather. And here we are at Gawler and we're going to head over to Renmark today on a quick fly. So the flights can take us from Gawler over to Tanundra and Angustin which is just over near the hills and then we're going to go to Truro, Wakery and then out to Renmark. Arriving runways 21 right, 21 left, departing runways 21 right, 21 left. Advise on initial contact you have Romeo. So let's get taxied out and ready to go here at Gawler. The wind today is uh, a little bit brisk. It's running at about 15 knots and it's from 190. The cloud base is expected to be around about 3,500 feet. So uh, once we get up and turned on our heading, uh, our first heading is 062 out to uh, Truro Airpark. And then from there we go to Wakery 060, so just a minor change and then we have a turn at Wakery to 032. So today we're going to use the uh, Garmin GPS to help us do our flying. It's not a bad day though is it? Looking pretty good. So let's head out. Now we're going to turn right and then we're going to depart the circuit. So we do a right circuit out of Gawler. Uh, when we head on this particular direction and if we go the other way we do left circuit so we're always circling uh, away from the town center so we'll climb and continue to climb and this is a fairly standard departure so you climb you get down on your you do your upwind leg then you do your downwind leg and then during your downwind leg instead of just getting to pattern height you continue to climb and uh, and then set your course and you'd make a radio course all of course just to let everybody know where you're heading to something that you may or may not be aware of although we uh, in LSA flying you don't have any con um, contact with uh, air traffic control or anything like that certainly I haven't had to today I haven't had the need to do that we do have SAR times so we do have a register when we book the aircraft out and uh, we put our expected time of departure and arrival uh, in there and what we do is once we get to our, depart our arrival point then we give them a call and let them know that we have arrived safely so there is some backup there in case something happens uh, in, in flight uh, and it's always possible you can have engine failures you should always expect to get one uh, hopefully it doesn't happen but um, you should always have the mindset that your engine is going to quit on you or something major could happen certainly the engine side of things is what we consider most so getting ourselves uh, out on heading looks pretty nice from up here today that's the uh, glass factory on the left there they make bottles and stuff and that's one of our uh, reporting points that we use often when we're coming back into Gawler getting a little bit high here the um, cloud base so we're just looking at the cloud we're coming up to 3500 so if we want to sit underneath it we don't want to be flying through it do we also um the this is a great aeroplane if you haven't got it this is the was the arabesque i think it still is arabesque lank hair and this is beautiful and it's also free which is pretty amazing as well i think it was pay wear at some stage but now it's, uh, it's freeway, so uh, jump over to the org and download it if you haven't got it. It's a real pleasure. It's fast as. You can see some uh, wing brakes out there. You can select those if you happen to need it. Just very Auto quick. Pilot engage. Yeah, we're going to be a little lazy, grab the autopilot today while we're navigating. Something I really miss uh, when you have a lot of paper maps and things to uh, to deal with and you're taking notes it would be nice to have um, uh, an autopilot in the Jabiru's that I, I used to fly Looking a little high so we may have to descend a little so 
So, do you remember what flight levels you should be using, or what flight altitude you should be using? Autopilot is east connected. is least. So east is least. So that's one three five plus five hundred. So one thousand five hundred. Three thousand five hundred. Five thousand five hundred. And if you're going west, it's is best. West is always best because you get more. You get two thousand five hundred. 4,500, uh, 6,500, all the way up to uh, 10,000 feet in Australia. So you can legally fly to 9,500 feet as a LSA pilot. Our, uh, our layer, our change layer, is at uh, 10,000 feet. And that varies around the world if you're not familiar with it. There you go to uh, a standard pressure setting uh, once you get past the 10,000 feet. Okay. Everything looking good. We've got it leaned out a little bit. Still in the green. Our RPM is good. You can see our fuels are good. That's the blue ones on the bottom right there. Not carrying a huge amount of fuel, but it's not a long flight. It's about an hour. So an hour plus about 45 minutes left. Over, just so that we have any problems, we have any weather. Doesn't it look great? No, it's a great looking aeroplane. Takes a little while to get used to the... Um, using the glass displays. I've always been a steam man, but certainly uh, nice to, with all that information at your fingertips. So it's just under the cloud, so we're not doing too badly there. Yeah, it doesn't look nice. It's got a really nice shine on it as well. It's a really great model. It's got 4K textures, I think, all the way through it. South Australia looking pretty dry there at the moment. So from here we're going over the hills. So the reason we need to get up and get, and as we come here to Truro, we've actually gone over the uh, the Adelaide Hills, and we need some clearance, about 2,500 feet there, to uh, to get have a reasonable amount of clearance. We get about 1,500 feet, so the clouds just the right height at the moment for us to be able to do that. Truro Air Park below us, and there is another airport out to the left. It would be uh, out the left wing, and it's probably another 10, 10 miles away there as well. So we're doing well, tracking well, we're on track. And we just clicked over to our new, new heading, and our time remaining, and our distance. You can see that all there. Now you can pop this um, GPS out onto another monitor as well guys if you have uh, the monitor space available and I believe you can also pop it out onto an iPad as well something that's, pos that's possible as well. Just set up some heights. Here we are coming over to the Murray River. We will pass over the Murray River again as well uh, during this flight. Blanchetown is just over there underneath the right wing and uh, the main highway, Highway 20, uh, is uh, is down there. I go across there quite often when I head back to New South Wales to visit the family. And uh, that area over there, the light area, was one of my points on my first nav, first solo nav. Beautiful down there, you can head all the way down to Murray Bridge down that way, going south to the right if you like, and up to the left. Um, you can head up Morgan and places like that as well. Lots of fun on the river. Doing pretty good with the cloud bases, they'd still remained high, or high enough for us, and we've got plenty of clearance now. The runways we're going to come into once we arrive. Uh, at Red Mark is, uh, it's still only about 100 feet uh, above the ground, so that'll be, that'll be uh, still got plenty of room. And there is, and here we are at Wakery. This is the river again. I've sort of edited the flight for you, so I'm not, I'm not sitting here for hours watch, watching me do, not a great deal, I guess, but the countryside is just beautiful here. This is all ortho scenery as well, guys. So coming into uh, Wakery, 
following the river. All the, I think Zoom 17. All my scenery's out here. It looks like another airstrip down there as well. So we've got somewhere to go if we had some trouble. Some grass strips and some main strips there. This is a big gliding club we drive past here again on the way to New South Wales. This is the main highway. Again, we're sort of following underneath us there. So how are we going for time? We're just about ready to make our next uh, nav turn to 030 degrees. The leg here can be a little bit of a handful to try and maintain um, uh, a nice altitude, you know, keep it steady. Just make the world a lot simpler using the autopilot. So we've got uh, 11 minutes to run or so, and uh, 31 nautical miles to our destination. And the river look nice. Get to follow along the river. So if you're new to general aviation and you're wondering what the three uh, knobs are there, the three coloured ones, um, most of you I'm sure know already, but if you don't know, because I see a lot of new people on Facebook, you know, I'm on a lot of Facebook pages as well. Um, I see people asking questions. Um, the, the, red one should throw, uh, the red one is your mixture. So the idea of your mixture is once you've got your RPM set, um, you can use your mixture to make sure it's not, uh, it's leaned down, so using the least amount of fuel. So that's the, the red one on the very right there. And the blue one, that's your propeller. So you can set your RPM on your engine uh, with that as well, because the, and this is a variable pitch. So as you adjust that, the pitch on the propeller changes so it's in some ways it helps you control the RPM so you can set the engine um, at hundred percent if you like and then you can adjust the pitch for your performance as well so the course you get it the faster you'll probably go because it'll be biting more air There's some really good um, tutorials on YouTube about it. I, I'm not, I haven't done it in the real world, so just learning how to do it a little bit here. Okay. And I think it's time for us to send. You can see the airport down there on the left. Welcome to sunny Renmark. My Renmark, very cloudy. So we're going to go down, uh, join the left downwind. then turn around and come back and uh, and hopefully get a decent landing. Feel free to mark me out of 10 guys. I'm going to do my best. It's a very slippery aeroplane this one. It never wants to slow down. But you don't want to get behind the power curve on it. Again if you're uh, new to the, the engine controls at this point is when you want to have the uh, the mixture back at full, so all the way in, and your uh, propeller control all the way forward as well, and you're just controlling everything with your power, which is the black knob. There we go, there's the airport. It's a bit sparse, so I think I'm going to uh, add a few aeroplanes and get a few people and stuff down there. So turning left on the, this is going to be the downwind. Check, check your brakes, your fuel, fuel quantities, fuel switches, make sure they're all on. Last thing you want it to do is to decide it hasn't got enough fuel as you're coming in on final. Just look back behind. Okay, turning on base. Make your radio call as you would base here. This is a CTAF frequency out here. So um, this one is 126.7. Uh, 126.7 is used 
very widely across Australia as uh, the CTAF or Common Traffic, Traffic Advisory Frequency. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Um, and uh, oh, just one note there's a note on the details for the airport to watch out for kangaroos. That'd be Australia, wouldn't it? A little bit overturned there, so watch out for the kangaroos on the way in. Under to over to under. There we are. We'll get the speed brakes out, slow us up a little. It's damn slippery, this thing. Little power. A little bit of a right crosswind. You can see that I'm pointing into the wind a little bit to the right there. So we're going to need to have the right wind down a little. And then we're going to use the rudder to point us straight as we come in to, uh, to make the touchdown. I'm going to do a... Uh, a little tutorial, tutorial again on, on the crosswing landings because I don't see anyone actually do it right. That wasn't the best example, but that's how you do it. It's control. You need the wing, the wing on the wind side. So the wind's coming from your right. The wing, that wing should be a little low. That'll stop you being blown across. And here we are, parked up at Renmark Airport. Yep, it definitely needs some stuff, doesn't it? So I'm going to put some aeroplanes and people here. So uh, next time we uh, we fly from here, you'll see it again. So look forward to catching you again here at Let's Fly VFR. And hope you enjoyed the flight. Hit the like button. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.